Hey beautiful faces, it's me Sunny and welcome to another episode of Simply Sunny. So as you can see, my home office is a complete disaster. It is a complete disaster. <laughs> I'm laughing because my husband is behind the camera peeking in here. So I actually decided to go ahead and get this office together. It is now everything. It is an office space. It is a display for my uh, thrift storage, which I need to take this stuff and take it to my storage, which we're about to do. And then over here in the corner, as you can see, this is for my patio. And over here is all of our luggage that we just have to put away. And then up here is all of my puzzles that I've done and that I have uh, new ones that I'm about to do. And it's just a hot mess. So I am going to do a office, do an office makeover. First I have to clean it and then I'm gonna make it over. So let's get started. All right, beautiful faces. So what I'm about to do is remove my travel bags out of that corner. They've been there for almost four months since we've been on quarantine because my husband and I have not been traveling since that is a part of our business. And so my office space has become a dumping room where we just dump everything in there. And I'm very upset with myself because I'm very organized. So now I have to get this space the way it needs to be and the way it should be so that I can get some mental clarity when I am organized. This is how I'm able to work. I cannot work in clutter. I have clothes in the corner which those clothes belong to my fashion thrift boutique called the Fashion Reboot. And I finally got my storage set up, so I'll be showing you a video of that very soon. You don't realize how much clutter accumulates over a period of 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. And then if you're talking a whole 12 months, 365 days, can you imagine what clutter will, you know, do in your space? So these bright, beautiful orange cushions belong to my patio furniture. And unfortunately, I cannot leave them out on my patio. One, we live in South Florida. It's always hot here, it's always raining. These companies will tell you the material is waterproof, weatherproof, and it's not. This is our second time getting them recovered because the first one, that we had was the original one and they mildew, they stained, it was it was horrible and they were not this color, they were like a brown color. So when we got these redone, we decided not to leave them outside. Two, 
We have a lot of little cats that like to hang around our so patio. I stack, uh, the patio cushions here until my husband take them and put them in the attic or put them outside in the storage. Um, but we're probably going to keep them in the garage because when we keep them outside, the weather, the sun here in South Florida, it just damages it. So I'm going to leave it here for now. I decided to have my Superman take them out and put them in another room until we take them and put them either in the garage or we take them to a storage area. So now I'm about to shred paperwork after 2000 or before 2018. I have a filing system and my filing system is to have the current year and then two years. So we are in 2020. And in my files, I will have 2019 and 2018. Anything else will be shredded. So 2017 and on, I will be shredding. And I have so many papers and documents that should have been shredded many years ago. And this is what I mean about creating a system that is going to work for you to keep you organized. Have you created a system? My system consists of my business and my personal well i can say my household so my top file cabinet is my household and this is where i keep my bills important papers will go in here but as you can see i still need to get in there and reorganize my filing system with new files and new tabs My second file cabinet is for my business. First Class Productions is the name of my business. And this is where I keep all of my paperwork to keep myself organized at home. And then I have my office space that has majority of all of my paperwork. I am still going through other papers that were in my inbox that sits on the wall behind my desk and on the side of my printer. And a lot of this information is very old. So now I'm going to shred them or file them. Find a system that works for you. I always say you have to find what works for you, not what works for everyone else. And what works for you will keep you organized, will keep you structured, and will keep you consistent. If you have a home office and you use your home office just to pay your bills or a place for you to go and get away from the stress and the madness that you have experienced throughout the day or throughout the week, make sure your space is organized. Make sure your space is structured. Make your space your zen den as well as your office. When you are in a comfort space, you can do your most thinking. I always tell people when I'm traveling, if I'm flying on a plane or from driving in a car or riding in a car traveling, that is my best time to come up with an idea or ideas. So if you put yourself in that comfort zone, this is the best place to do it. At home, in your Zen Den or in your office. So organize yourself with a system that works for you in order for you to reach whatever goals that you are trying to pursue. Use that space to work on becoming financially independent. Financial independence is definitely the ability to live from the income of your personally invested resources that you may have, whether it's your job or whether it's your business. And then you can work for your joy and whatever necessities that you 
me. We all want to become financially independent, of course. But it takes structure. And I say that because when you are organized and when you are structured, you can think and your thought process can flow easily. You know how sometimes you see a mainly women i don't see too many guys that does this because most most guys take high pride in their vehicle women we will not take pride in our vehicles we will get in that car i don't care how messy it looks how dirty it is on the inside or the outside but when we get outside the car we are dressed from head to toe so if we can keep everything around us from head to toe, including our living space, including our mental space, everything will flow. I've learned to keep my vehicle clean thanks to my husband. I've never had a dirty car. I can honestly say I've had a messy car because I would use my car as my mobile office. So I would have boxes of paper, boxes of items or whatever event that I just completed would still be in my hatchback. So I just wasn't being consistent with being organized by taking the items and putting them back where they belong when the event is over. So that's what I mean by creating a system that works for you. And what works for me is to be organized. I think I'm finished. If you can see the before, the mess. Wow. I cannot believe my office got like this. And there you have it. Now I am starting with some structure. I have some organization. And from this point, I can move forward with creating my Zen Den and getting everything that I need done in a more organized and fashionable way. So thank you all for tuning in another episode of Simply Sunny. Try and organize and create a system that works for you. Be blessed, stay safe, peace, love, and positivity to you all. Have a sunny day, and thank you for tuning in. Bye.